Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Today is the 7th, Tuesday of January 2020. Uh, let's get started. Let's open up the charts right here, and let's see what's going on in the world. First thing we're going to take a look at is... Uh, there's something going on with some sort of a new virus. It's a mystery illness. Total mystery. They don't know what it is. Unidentified new virus. Uh, evidently, from what I understand, uh, there's 59 people in China that have this. It's hit out of nowhere. They don't know what it is. But they do know that, I guess they've tested for SARS. It's not SARS. It's infected dozens of people. It's raising fears of a new epidemic, and they don't know what in the heck it is. I suspect it's some sort of a, uh, some sort of a uh, influenza, maybe or something. I don't know. I don't really know either. I'm just, I mean, I'm just speculating about what it is. Nobody knows what it actually is. Out of the 59 people it's infected. Seven of them are in critical condition, I guess, with respiratory problems. So we got to have to keep our eye on this situation of this new unidentified virus that's coming out of China. It's causing, it's causing pneumonia. That's what it's doing. Uh, not SARS. What in the heck is it? Anyway, let's move on. And the uh, next thing we're going to check is the gold price. Now, I want to talk about gold and Germany. Gold and silver, both, in Germany for a minute. Germany right now is starting to have what I think is going to come to America with gold and silver. A shortage. Quite literally, it's getting hard to find and hard to buy physical gold and silver in Germany. Not impossible to buy it, but it's getting hard to buy. And the German government, from what I hear through the grapevine, has lowered the amount that you can buy without them getting involved. In other words, you'd have to go through a lot of red, pa red tape and paperwork and everything else. Used to be you could buy 10,000 euros worth of gold and silver without, going through, without the government hassling you. Now they've lowered it down to only 2,000 euros, which is not much more than one ounce of gold. You buy any more than that, they're going to be, be a big deal, you know, where the government says, okay, you got to sign all these papers, and we want to know where you got the money to buy it, and I don't know how it goes, you know. Anyway, so the Germans right now are already starting to have their shortage of gold and silver. I can see this spreading to other countries. As the gold and silver price goes up, there's going to be less available, not more. So you guys out there thinking, hey, you know, as the gold and silver price goes up higher, there's going to be more available, People, more people will be selling? Ah, it ain't going to work that way, guys. I'm sorry, it ain't going to work that way. It's going to be just the exact opposite. More and more people are going to be holding and not letting go of it. And, and, uh, and, and the only gold and silver that's going to be coming into the marketplace is newly mined stuff that's available for sale. And, you know, most of the silver in the newly mined category goes into industry. So, I mean, if we see uh, consumers starting to pick up demand and, and bar and coin demand pick up substantially in the United States, you could see all these small stores and stuff that sell it, including dealers like Atmex and wherever, you know, you could see inventories drop, and at first what you'll see is inventories drop. You might not be able to get the exact bar you want or coin you want, you know? And then later, you might not be able to get any. <laughs> I mean, it could dry up that quick. I mean, you know, we go through this period where there's like, uh, oh, we got 100 monster boxes back there. You know, you guys can have whatever you want, you know. We go through that period. That can dry up so fast if investors come into the market, especially panic buying, because the economy's something hap something's happened in the, in the economy, you know. I'm telling you, you know. Anyway, we're looking at a price today of gold at 1569.40 for gold. $4.20 up today. Uh, 
So we're holding above 1550. Now that 1550 is a critical marker. We're holding above it. That's very important. Let's take a look at silver. Today on silver, we're looking at 1820. And uh, we're holding above the $18 mark on silver. So silver's looking good too. It's moving up right now while we speak. Let's take a look at cryptocurrency. You know, cryptocurrency's been catching a bid too. Not just gold and silver, but cryptocurrencies is starting to catch a bid. It's maintaining well above the 200 billion mark that I was talking about yesterday. It was fluctuating down near the 200 billion mark, but now it's 209.6. Let me refresh the page. 210. So it's moved up a billion just since I had this page open, you know. Looking at a Bitcoin price of 79.13, Ethereum 142 bucks, uh, Bitcoin Cash 237, and Litecoin at 45.44. So cryptocurrencies is starting to catch a bid. We'll see if it continues. Now what we're going to look at is the Dow Jones today. And it appears like the Dow Jones is down just a little bit. It was up earlier. Now it's down a lot more. It's down 130 points, 28,572. So the Dow's falling right now. Uh, well, it's way too high anyway. <laughs> Let her go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here is crude oil today, $62.63. It's down 1% on the day or 64 cents on the day, you know. Evidently, things are starting to calm down a little bit around the Gulf, you know, and, and this is the reason why people are thinking, oh, well, nothing's going to happen. And they're going back in crude oil. Well, we have a buildup in crude oil inventories, you know, so, so we're seeing crude oil dropping off just a little bit. Uh, what's now happening with the US Treasuries and we're gonna take a look at Treasuries for a minute we got a mixed bag on Treasuries uh, the long very long end of the yield curve is rising just a little bit whereas we're seeing the whole rest of the yield curve the yields falling uh, they're falling the most in around the seven year uh, that's where they're falling the most Okay, looks like the three-year is, uh, is is fell quite a little bit, well, 1.4 basis points, you know. So so yields are falling mostly. I expect that uh, if that falling yields continue, we're probably going to see the 30-year turn around too and be, be falling. But uh, evidently, they're still buying out on the 30-year end, of the, the far end of the yield curve. Okay, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index today and see what it's doing. Uh, let me pull the chart down a little bit here. I'll change the size of the chart. Okay, 96.96. The dollar's climbing. The dollar's gaining quite a little bit of steam today. You know, and that's good that we see gold and silver actually holding the line when the dollar is actually gaining this much steam as it has today, you know. Uh, we've seen it come up all the way. I mean, it was down to... Uh, 96.62 and now it's all the way up to 96.95 so it's almost 97 so it's gained it's gained getting near half a penny that's quite a large move for the dollar you know and when we see gold and silver actually maintaining or holding their own against a, a, a heavy move upwards in the dollar that's a really good sign a bullish sign for gold and silver Tremendously bullish. Listen, thank you guys for listening to this report. Remember what's going on in Germany, how quick gold and silver dealers can start to run out of inventory if the masses suddenly catch on. I mean, right now, nobody buys gold and silver except just a very few preppers and things like that, you know. But, but you know, if the masses start catching on, the horde could come in and there was none available. Thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next show. Go give me a thumbs up, guys. Bye-bye.